The time invested into keeping Thel B. Overman Field looking incredible for the Wallace Rose Hill Bulldogs under the Friday night lights at Legion Stadium is unmatched. It's just something that if you don't enjoy it, you won't do it for long. Uh, it's been 42 years, so I've enjoyed every second of it almost. It's just as nice as some college fields um, when it comes to the detail and to the, uh, to the color and to what's put on this field. A lot has to be done to the field ahead of each home game before the boys can go to battle, though. The lines, numbers, and hash marks all have to be painted, and boy, oh boy, is every little detail crucial. But that is now easier than ever before, thanks to turf tank robots. We used to pride ourselves on running straight lines when we were doing it by hand. Um, but uh, after, after this, uh, I figured out I was second best. We were second best. <laughs> the autonomous GPS guided robots are designed to paint athletic fields, but in half the time it's taken volunteer David Morgan for over a decade. Where it took me 22 hours, took it about two hours. Morgan says he's painted the Bulldog logo and field by hand since the 1990s. But the torch was passed down from Pete Blanton and the late Ivy Jones, who started in 1982. Morgan and Blanton say they're grateful for Turf Tank because painting by hand was physically taxing. Um, it's cool to have stuff done by hand, um, but you can't ignore what technology gives us these days. We can only do things for so long. The turf tank robots paint and outline every inch of the field, but Morgan, Blanton, and a few coaches from the Bulldog coaching staff have to fill in the logo by hand. So from now on, when you step foot into Legion Stadium and you're mesmerized at how beautiful the black and orange pop out and catch your attention, you must first remember that while turf tank has made things easier, we must never forget those and pay homage to those who have laid the groundwork well before technology came into the picture. In Duplin County, Jalen Holloway, WITN News. Pretty amazing stuff and looking good for their playoff game there tomorrow night against Green Central as well.